nominated Gil De Vere because he is the dream volunteer. He volunteers for the Compassion Society of Halton. He's dedicated, committed, uh, absolutely reliable. But his main function with the Compassion Society is a driver. Um, he picks up about three to four hundred kilos of food a week from uh, several places and he always gets it back to the store on time in time to get it on the shelves. He's part of the reason why we can serve uh, in the last year uh, over 19,000 people with food. I nominate this person because Mr. Frank Lupton is an amazing man and there is a time to honor him because all his good action that he's been doing for the people in need. Frank helps all kinds of people, newcomers to Canada, refugees, all time, all kind of persons it doesn't matter for him how we look, where we come from, what language does we speak, what the color of our skin. He just knows that people need help. We have to help the people in need, the poor, and that's what Mr. Frank Lupton does. Janice is retired and she's spent so much time connecting with her community and seeing where they're at and what their needs are and how she can be their friend and help them. It's really emotional what she's done for single moms in terms of we have this now community of single moms to get together once a month with her kids. Um, a light dinner is provided. Janice Martin is an inspiring, phenomenal, and powerful woman who is just readily accepting of everyone. And um, she's just an all-time great person. So Burlington and the Art Gallery are really, really fortunate to have literally hundreds of volunteers provide service to the community. But Anne Swarbrick's efforts on behalf of the Art Gallery, we felt went above and beyond what any other volunteer that we had come in contact with. You can't capture in, you can't capture in 30 seconds the, the level of commitment and, and involvement that Anne has demonstrated over the last um, six years, but in particular during her time as the volunteer interim executive director. Both the Art Gallery and the city are, should be very proud and thankful. Mm -hmm.